let's, with that. Let's get yes, to work, yes. Brett. Ah! Brett, cheers to cheers. you. Go, so good to see you. You too. We've done this, what, twice? Three times? Yes, three times now. And the last time, or the first time we were together, you were out promoting a Discovery Channel show. Right, right. So much has happened since yeah, then. Yes. Give us a window into your world. It's so exciting. Well, anytime we do tequila, I will meet you for sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the first time was a show called Treasure Quest Snake Island. I was a survival specialist for Discovery Channel. Survival specialist. That's an intense role. Yeah, it's a weird title. So my buddy was like, how did you get that title? And I was like, I've never died. I don't know. I'm, kind I'm of still <laughs> here. <laughs> pretty good. Trading spaces is a big yes. part of your world. What does that reboot look like? It's been crazy. We started filming and people were going nuts. <laughs> like people were, I was sleeping in my Airstream trailer and people were like knocking on the window of my trailer. They were standing in line watching us build stuff in the neighborhoods. And I was like, this is crazy. But after filming it, not only did I see how many people love the show, but why. I'm so grateful to be a part of it. It's been so much fun meeting so many cool people. It's kind of like being adopted into a highly dysfunctional thing. Oh, it's well a, that sounds a, special. <laughs> it's, they're crazy, um, but it's, it's so much fun. And as the carpenters, we're up at like five in the morning, sometimes yeah. working until three in the morning. We're doing things on basically with no money in a very short amount of time, $2,000, two days. Is there a lot of pressure that comes with a show reboot that people love so much? A whole lot of pressure. What's that feel like? What, what's nice is as a carpenter, it's not really my responsibility. It's kind of on the designers. Yeah, you so get I just to build come what in they want to build. Make it happen. Yeah, but I think that the pressure in what we've all been talking about as far as the cast members of the show, Trading Spaces was kind of the first of its kind. Mm -hmm. It was kind of created the genre for home innovation TV. But since then, it spawned so many different shows and Property Brothers, Fixer Upper, and all yeah. these amazing shows with amazing design with these. 400, 500, 6,000 zillion dollar budgets, and you see these beautiful before and afters, and we're like, we only have $2,000. <laughs> how is, how are people gonna respond to that after seeing right. these huge transformations? And they're like, that's not that good. And you're like, we didn't have that much money. Yeah, you were working with something a little different. It seems yeah. like people are still responding really well though. They are. How has the Austin community responded? Because it seems like people are really yes. supportive. It's so awesome. Everybody runs up like, we love the show. It's great. And That's like, so and good. you just, it's so much love. So I got really lucky to be a part of something that I think people enjoy. Are you allowed to talk about the future? Like what does the next season look like? Or do we have to just keep <laughs> us guessing here? I'm still guessing. <laughs> As of right now, they're casting for season two. So we need families, but we need people in Austin. And I really want you guys to do it in Austin because I want to, sleep in my own bed. Yeah, exactly. That change. might work out well show. for you, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, and I have a workshop right here, and so it'd be fun to get to use it maybe for the show. Yeah, or, wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Right now I'm focused more on my home inspection business here in Austin. Mm -hmm. I have a nonprofit here that we're starting to grow. Well, I started Off The Grid International about three years ago, and we're real small. We're real tiny. It's just a few of us home inspectors here in Austin. We can't change the world, but we're trying to change the world for one person at a time. So we build water systems and sanitation systems alongside the Peace Corps. The real remote places that don't have access to clean water and sanitation. Uh, we did one in Panama. So you fly to Panama City, take a plane to Bocas, and then you take a truck to a place, get picked up by a guy in a wooden boat, and he takes you like three hours up in the jungle. Wow. And so it was unbelievable how just rewarding it is but also seeing that like we're not coming to save the day or you know it's really these people are completely capable and completely autonomous it's just a lack of resources yeah if a kid gets sick or an elderly woman gets sick mm -hmm. they can't get to the hospital so preventable bacterial diseases are a big thing in these remote communities yeah and so that's kind of what we're trying to help not only build but educate as well. That's such impactful work. I'm so glad to know you're out there doing that. I'm That's trying, so great. trying to do more. You know, yeah. you're also a product of Austin. Yeah. You're making music. Yeah. What does that look like? You just debuted a few songs. I was so excited. Yeah, so I just, well, I've always played music with my brother. My brother was on American Idol, and I've always been really scared to sing. But I like to write songs and play guitar. Well, then you guys are like a perfect little pair. Yeah, it's worked. And so this is the first time where I sing my own songs. I wrote it, produced it, I play guitar, I play harmonica, I sing it, and I just put it on iTunes and Spotify, and I'm kind of excited and kind of terrified. So how'd you work up the courage to do that? 
It's just, I'm, I'm at a place in life where if something scares me, uh, it's the right thing to do. Part of progressing as a person and moving forward, I wanted to, to overcome that. Is there anywhere you went to kind of like get the courage to start singing in front of people? <laughs> like, could we find you at Egos on South Congress? House Wine has Ooh, a, Oh, yeah. okay, jot that down, so one they night have of the week. awesome open mic on Monday nights. <laughs> and it. because it's Austin, these aren't just people getting up and no. strumming. These are incredibly talented people, but everybody's so supportive there. Okay. You can mess up and it's all you think about. And they're like, man, that was awesome. Here's a bottle of wine, blah, blah, blah. And it's just a really cool, supportive group. And Austin, uh, open mic night is still scary because everybody's a oh, musician Yeah, they're here. so pros. It's ridiculous. I know that you and I a while back talked about how happiness is more about fulfillment and less right. about being rich or being famous. What does that look like to you? Everybody's got their own definition for happiness. You know, we're in a physical world and we're physical people and you gotta make money and you gotta have a job, you gotta do stuff. But I think that your relationship with yourself is so important and that's one thing that I'm learning for myself mm -hmm. and just starting to do things that I love doing yeah and, and I think giving back is a big part of that but also giving to yourself and not doing things that you don't want to do and then doing the things that you want to do like going surfing this morning you've got a lot of projects in the mix yes. you've got your shop just across the street so can we go check out some of those things get our hands dirty oh yeah for sure okay oh Thanks. you want to build something I want to watch you build <laughs> something I don't think you would trust me with power tools we can do it it'll be fun so this is your shop. This is a shop. Looks good. It, it is a little dirty. Let's make something. Where's this? That, that's the right way up. Is this on? It's not a gun. You can pull the trigger. No, what happened? Try it. <laughs> ah! It's a drill. Oh my Oh way. yeah. What are we making in here? I'm in the middle of a new table. It's still drying. This is a stained epoxy. It's just a little bitty side table. Cute. Right? And so we'll, this will be all clean and pretty. I like to do things I've never done before. Mm -hmm. And this dyed epoxy is something I wanted to try because of how pretty it is. I don't know, I just have different clients who are like, hey, I need a table. I'm like, ooh, I got an idea. I got a table for so you. So that's what this is. So this is a stool, concrete. Can I pick it up or is this you major heavy? You got it. Ooh! You can make this with zero tools for about $10. Oh, this is my kind of project. What would you do? No Let's do a quick tools. DIY tutorial with Brett Tudor. Okay, here we go. What you ready? Happened? You get one of those buckets from a hardware store, right? Like this right? kind of bucket? Like that kind of bucket, okay. right? Let's take so this. dump some concrete in there. You mix it with water to the consistency of like peanut butter. And then you get it about as thick as you want your seat to be. Oh, right? so that's what you want. And then you literally just get these dowels. They look like this. Get three I'm of like them. your Vanna White. You I are. Got your props. <laughs> here okay. We here we go. And, and then you put the dowel in the concrete, like so. Blah 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 blah. Cute. And then you literally just go grab a margarita and you come back the next day. While it dries. You don't do anything while it dries, and you just pull it out, and you can paint the legs and get crazy. And then you can stain the concrete. It's really really short. I don't I feel like a little baby stool. All right, so let's finish this table, shall we? Let's, <laughs> let's with that. Let's get That's to work, Brett. Ah! So you're always working on something. Where can we follow along with your project? Sorry, I won't point that one out. You guys scare me. <laughs> um, Instagram, so just my name, Brett Tudor. Thanks for hanging with us. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for trusting me with Power Tools post-margarita. <laughs> let's do it.